Now, while we're looking at Syria, while we're looking at the American empire implode by design, while we're looking at the government shutdown and Obamacare and all those nightmares unfolding, and the government website's not working uh, for Obamacare, not because of a shutdown, but because they never got them in place because of the bureaucracy. While this is happening, as I told you a few days ago, globalism is expanding. The Trilateral Commission set up in the 70s by David Rockefeller, Zbigniew Brzezinski, and others has the heads of state in Asia, in Europe, and in North America to create a trilateral or three-legged world. And in that trilateral world, they remove the national sovereignty to trade organizations, just like they set up the euro as the original model in 1957 with the Treaty of Rome, out of Bilderberg, and that's all been declassified. Government is now below. State governments don't even count, but states as in states of the World Union, they have a limited vote, what is it, about a third of the vote, versus the corporations, just like we saw in BAMP Canada, the documents 2007, they're in Endgame, where in the meetings, the corporations are running it and literally shutting down their competition. Literally, uh, that's what Dr. Paul K. Roberts has an article out today on Infowars.com, former head of the Treasury Department and Policy, saying it's another giveaway to private interest. Yeah, it's a direct tax a direct ripoff, calling it socialism. That's why socialism is so bad, folks. It always gets taken over. It always creates gangs and special interests. That's why it doesn't work. Yes, if you had computers handing it out that were programmed by angels who weren't bad, then it might actually work, but would create laziness. Side issue. Joining us with a snapshot report, the full report's up on prisonplanet.tv. We did like 20 minutes live last night on the Nightly News. David Knight, I wanted you to focus in on this Pacific Partnership and the agreements now with the North American Union and the EU. This is so incredibly important because this is their 19th meeting. This is global governance in their own words being established. David Knight. It's gone on for several years and I find it interesting there's a lot of groups that you might say are aligned with the left with the Democrats who are aware of this. Pretty much people on the right have been fighting Obamacare. They're not even aware of this and yet there's common characteristics between both of these. It really is a transfer. You know, we look at Obamacare, there's not any health care in that. As the Supreme Court said, it's a tax. But it's not really even a tax because the money is not going to the government. It's a transfer. I ought to call it Obama transfer. It's a transfer of wealth from the public to these few corporations. And as we talked about last night and as Don Salazar had in his article last Friday, he showed the profits going up over the last four years and the eight biggest insurance companies gone up 200%, 300, 400, some of them 500% increase in profits. They know where this is headed. They knew that they were gonna make a lot of money. People are just now finding out what's in it, as Pelosi said. We're now seeing that our rates are going up by 200% or more. Companies are being shut down. We have doctors going out of business. We have other smaller insurance companies going out of business. But these big insurance companies are making out like bandits. And that's exactly what's happening, going to happen with this TPP. They're meeting in secret. You don't have senators going. You don't have congressmen going. They've given this uh, fast trade, fast track trade authorization to Obama, which means that he has something called a United States trade representative who's conducting all these, these meetings. And we've got up here on the document cam right now. This is the a statement from September 9th. Their last meeting was August 21st. And he's addressing the stakeholders. Now, they're not talking about the public. They're not talking about congressmen. They're talking about stakeholders. That's the owners. That's right, the owners. That's not you and me. That's not the public. It's not our government. The stakeholders are these corporations. And he's saying that, well, we had to make some difficult decisions. Not everybody's going to agree with everything, but we wanted to keep you, our stakeholders, involved. And I've got 170 participants. And those are their stakeholders. Now, in some cases, it goes up to maybe 600 lobbyists from these large corporations. But you can't have the press cannot go in. It's just like Bilderberg. It's shut down. You can't have the press go in. Senators can't get in. Ron Wyden, who has complained about the secrecy in the NSA, has complained about the fact that they can't get in. They can't know what's in it. Some details have leaked out. We know that they've got a new court mechanism, which is just like they've had in NAFTA, which is an investor state tribunal. Now, what they've done is it's almost like they've taken the, the um, Magna Carta and they've reversed it now to going back from a democracy. You know, that, that basically started moving the power away from the king, moved it out to a bunch of oligarchy, but actually it established some basic rights for individuals. 
Now they're taking those rights from individuals. They're taking it back to the oligarchy. And the oligarchy, these, these corporations are really taking everything over. They've elevated themselves to the level of the state. If they have a trade dispute, if they say that some new regulation that they've put in, let's say that they prohibit GMO, that they allow GMO labeling. And Monsanto says, well, that's a new law. And according to our trade uh, agreements that we had in the past, you've now lowered our profit expectations. So they can take that government to court, not, not actually to court, to this tribunal, where the company appoints one of the people, the state, the government, appoints one person, and then they both agree mutually on a third person. And it supersedes national sovereignty. This is direct global governance by the Fortune 500. Yes. In their own words, yes. David Rockefeller has said that, and now they're almost there. And Obamacare is the perfect example, trillions of dollars over the next yeah. five years and total control directed to them and its attacks. And I wish we could get both the left and the right to see what's going on. Obamacare is the same thing as these trade partnerships, the transatlantic, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the TPP. They also have a transatlantic free trade agreement, TAFTA, like NAFTA. That the merges the EU with the North American Union. Yes. And then they have agreements merging it with the Asian Union yes. through the TPP. This is what we covered in Endgame seven years ago, but now it's here. That's right. Bilderberg, they're looking in secret at their long-term strategic planning. This is where they're hammering out the details. This is where they're pushing the button. This is where they're taking over our sovereignty, just like the FISA court is meeting in secret. Nobody even knew that that existed. By the way, these groups have tried to get the international agreements to censor the Internet through. Yes, and that's one of the things. I mean, Internet, you've got all these groups that were fighting CISPA, SOPA, ACTA. They came at them through copyright because that's what these corporations are about. They're about asserting their ownership over everything, turning everybody into renters whether it's really renting your house or whether it's renting intellectual property from them. They want to turn everybody into renters. They want to own everything. But it also works out for the governments because the governments can then avoid all due process. They can shut down anybody they want to by using a copyright claim. So it's this, this partnership between... It's the same thing with the vitamin code or Codex Alimentarius. Same people running that, openly wanting to shut down everything, uh, all types of supplements. They're not playing games. And in closing, Homeland Security is being set up in every nation as the system to suppress the people if they try to take their government back. This is a corporate global coup d'etat. Absolutely. You've got groups who opposed SOPA and CISPA. Now they see this is going to be brought in with the TPP. They're getting involved and they're saying, wait a minute, that's not even trade. That's just pure system. And the big issue is people are now starting to wake up to this. We're covering it. You're going to be covering on the Nightly News all week and next week. We're really focusing on this, and we need viewers to focus on this and become aware of what's happening. Thank you so much, David Knight. Now you can watch the InfoWars Nightly News streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.